that's the function that's the function you're going to use the procedure that that you're going to use to uh, simulate um, not simulate but make a 2d object in a 3d scene uh, to look at the camera uh, you use the look at function I'm using GLM library as my math library uh, if you're using something else um, you can look to this function uh, I think it's very common uh, in any math library the look at and the inverse uh, you're going to use the position of the object you the 2d object that you want to stare at the camera the camera position and this is a up vector um, uh, with only the y as one okay if you need a little bit of uh, 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 how do you put it <laughs> if you need a little bit of uh, context um, here's what, how I'm using this you, you have to use the model matrix right um, and the camera there's a, a a very interesting resource for learn OpenGL and graphics and with learn open gel i think a lot of people by now knows know about that site um so if you don't know about it is learn open gel go there if you want to learn open gel and th uh, 3d graphics in general it's a great resource but in case you don't know i need to help even more here's what you got you got the view matrix the model matrix and um, my 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 2d object let's say it's a plane with the vertices with right that's the data and that's the texture coordinates and it's just a class that encap encapsulates and um, how would you create an object in OpenGL using texture right so I have this another infor uh, relevant information is the shader uh, again another class that encapsulate how you're going to make a shader actually you don't have to look to this class uh, all you have to, to know is that you need a shader you need a vertex shader and you need a fragment shader and the texture right the also another cl class that encapsulates the way you create a texture in OpenGL and that's how I'm doing this the reason I'm making this video is because last day yesterday I spent the whole day trying to figure this thing out uh, let me show you the shader as well in case you don't know that's a simple vertex shader with projection model view if you want to display a 3d object because the plane is a 3d object but we're showing it as a uh, as a 2D object and uh, the coordinates and uh, a simple texture fragment shader that that would display in the plane and again the reason I'm doing this beca is because I spent the whole day yesterday trying to figure this thing out and only today I found uh, in, on the internet the method to, to do this let me show you I hate when people say let me show you and I'm saying let me show you but <laughs> that's the what I was trying to achieve and thanks to that function I did it all I wanted is this light to always stare at the camera and this light is a plane and with a alpha texture on top and because of that inverse and look at procedure using the uh, in the model matrix I'm, I was able to achieve that so I know it's a very specific stuff 
uh, very little people who have the same setup as me, but I thought about making a video trying to help uh, people that might be in the same situation as me. So that's it. Thank you.